Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Four Last Things. So, in the last episode, the priests or bishops at the local church told us that in order to be able to confess our sins and then be forgiven, uh, we have to commit all the seven deadly sins again within the borders of this parish slash town here, because this old man had committed some bad deeds and sins outside of the borders, uh, in areas which are out of the local church's jurisdiction, or so they claim anyway. So we have so we have to commit all the seven deadly sins again. And in the last episode, we did commit commit the sin of envy. So there are six more sins to go. Six more sins. And my goal for this episode is to commit at least one more. So without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here. And I said in the last episode that we would go and uh, and go and see what's what's over here in this alley here. But then I happened to notice this. It says peep here, and and apparently we can we can actually peep here. So let's do that before we move on. Oh, oh my! That's the a beautiful woman reclining on a bed of plump white pillows. Yeah, we also also noticed her painting at the gallery. Anything else interesting here? Not really. Only this chick here. She's stunning. She's magnificent. She's surprisingly clean. What do you mean surprisingly clean? What do you think she is a prostitute? Hello there, young lady. Whoa! Get out of here, you dirty dog! Jesus Christ! Ow! Yeah, my reaction exactly. Well, she's gone. I would never strike a lady. I wasn't I wasn't thinking about striking here, dude. Hello there, young lady. Get out of here. Out of here, you dirty dog. Okay, I wonder if we are supposed to commit some sort of a sin here. Like what? Uh sin of lust? Does he want a fish? No, no, no. Okay, empty chuck. What do you expect me to do with that? Well, I don't know, I'm just trying things. I would love to make a joke hinge on the utility of the mallet and the potential sexual connotations of the word pounded. But I'm afraid it would be contextually inappropriate. Well, okay, fair enough. So she's stunning, magnificent, and surprisingly clean. Not not sure if those are supposed to be hints or anything. Well, we can go back here later, but right now we can't do anything, anything with her. So now let's go to this alley here. Hmm, there's a bard or sinister-looking lutist. Hmm, a blacksmith. We can go over there. Whoa, this guy has a bigger schnosh than me. Schnosh? You mean nose? He has a face like half consumed wall carrier, but he plays that loot like an angel. Dingle dangle dingle 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 dangle dangle dingle ding 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 Okay. Bravo. Okay, not can't do anything with him. Now oh, we can go in here too. Okay. A colorfully dressed blacksmith sitting at some sort of grinding wheel. Yeah, that is very colorfully uh, dressed blacksmith. Now that you mention it, I don't think that wearing those clothes while doing blacksmith's work is a good idea. You just get them dirty. Hello. Hello. And who are you then? I'm the blacksmith. While wearing those fla fancy clothes, I make metal into different shapes for a living. Okay, so how's the blacksmith in business? This is a tough time for a true artisan like me. I'm capable of uh, forging the finest suits of armor and the sharpest swords. But this area is enjoying a rare period of sustained peace. Oh, the horror. Uh, all anyone wants around here are elf 
uh, flagons and uh, piss pots. So I can waste my time forging beautiful works of art that no one will buy. Or waste my talent making making tat for the local drunkards. And only the leather option pays. Oh boo hoo. At least you have a job. Sorry. I don't often get a chance to vent. Okay. How much metal could a blacksmith smith if a blacksmith could smith metal? <laughs> uh, this this must be a reference to that, that one joke in Monkey Island 2, Lee Chuck's Revenge. How much wood would you cut if you could chuck wood off? However, how, however, however it went, it was so confusing. How much metal could a blacksmith smith if a, black, if a blacksmith, blacksmith could smith metal? You're thinking of woodchucks. Yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I meant. Yeah, I was thinking about woodchucks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye now. Bye for now. Maybe we need his services later. Okay, so... Oh, there's... Then we can go here, here, and here. Is this a blacksmith shop? No. Is this a doctor's appointment, or what the hell is happening here? I like how his face changes. From... From that normal pretty face to such agony. Face of agony. And I, I like how the blood spills like that. Monkey... That's chained to a big metal ball, presumably. This monkey is being employed as some sort of security system. Security system. Judging by the ball and chain, I imagine he's not very happy with the arrangement. Who would be? Hmm? Piss off! How rude. Hmm? Oh! I got damn it! Stop going there. Can we at least? No, we can't even. We can't even look at them from this distance. Celeste. Yep. No, nope, we can't even go there. We have to get rid of this monkey somehow. First thing that comes to my mind is banana, obviously. But can we use this the sizzle and mallet? That doesn't need to be uh, sizzled or malleted. Mm, okay, we can interact with the ball or the chain itself. Appetite uh, suppressants. Poison, okay. Love potion. Hmm. Something tells me, tells, me, tells me that we need one of these three, if not all of these three things. Okay, but we can't go further, as long as that monkey is there. What's over here then? Hmm. These people seem to be having fun. Creepy lawyer. Ah, oh, it's a, it's a lawyer. At least in the game, merrymakers. They are engrossed in in their revelries. <laughs> Look at this baby and his moves. Damn, son. My only point of reference for this image is the dancing baby in the whimsical late 90s TV comedy, Ali McBeal. <laughs> but this is a respectable game. I only do Renaissance art, uh, Monkey Island and obscure literature references. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So I have nothing to say about this baby. Well, okay, you said quite a few things already there. Can I talk to any of these people? They are engrossed in their revelries. You, you two, uh, you not, you not, you better not be feeding this little kid some ale or whatever, wine or stuff. She's too young. He, she, I don't know. He's too young. Creepy lawyer. This guy looks like a real creep. Can I talk to this creep? What's all this then? These lucky people have just inherited a large sum of money. Well, that's why they're so happy. After the death of a relative to whom none of them had a particularly strong emotional connection. How lovely. I'm filling out the paperwork for them. For a small fee, of course. Yes, of course. We are going to be flipping rich. Yes, we are planning to extort the crap out of them. 
they have no idea just how much they have inherited. These people don't know how many coppers make silver, never mind the worth of uh, 1000 hectares of barley field, of barley field even. With some careful manipulation of the figures, I should be able to pocket at least three quarters of their fortune. Ah, liar, uh, liars. <laughs> I was, I was supposed to say lawyers. Lawyers, liars. What's the difference? Typical. Isn't this all a bit dishonest? Can I help? Can you give me some legal advice? Well, isn't this all a bit dishonest? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Well, we are supposed to be sinning, I suppose, so nope. Good. So, I don't know, can I help? You can, actually. Oh. I'm having trouble locating a copy of this town's official uh, treachery, deceit and extortion regulation. Without them, I'm, without them, I'm only sanctioned to act uh, fraudulently and slash or fallacious. For Fallaciously, is that how you pronounce it? Which will be much less profitable in this instance. If you can find me a copy, I'll give you a cut of our ill-gotten gains. So, do you want me to find a book? Where can I get a copy of this Towns, of towns Official Treachery, Deceit and Extortion Regulation? The clerk's office, uh, office next door should be able to give you a copy, but they seem extremely reluctant to offer any help. I wonder why. Can you give me an, can you give me some legal advice? What do you need to know? If I murder a child in the forest, but there's no one around to hear it, is it still a crime? I'm pretty sure it is. Can photographic images of public domain artworks earn new copyright? Well, might as well ask this, ask this first. That's a more complicated issue than you might imagine. Okay. Legal advice? Uh, so if I murder a child in the forest but there's no one around to hear it, is it, is it still a crime? Yes. Yeah, I thought as much. And what about this church? Can a church forgive someone of sins committed out with that church's parish? That's not a legal issue, I'm afraid. Mm, okay, well, let's leave him to it. And we are saving, okay. Does it look like... Oh, there's a loot here. It's a loot. Can you pick it up? I can't get to it. Maybe these people have to leave first. And uh, when I... When I rebooted the game and, start, uh, when I, and, start, and started recording, I noticed that... I, I noticed that we started... That we started from the building over, uh, building over here. That we that we started in that I started inside here. So the game didn't save after I had picked up the scissors and all of these items here. So I had to pick them up again before before we could continue. So so you can't actually apparently save anywhere you want. You have to reach a checkpoint. Which is a bit annoying, to be honest with you. And there's no uh, save slots or anything like that. Which, as a Let's Player, I would really appreciate. Because if something goes wrong during the recording, like the, like last time with the first episode, then the only solution for me is to uh, start the game all over again, so I can get so I can get to the point where I was, and then and and then try to record again, so I can show you uh, everything. So that, that's a bit annoying, that's my first kind of complaint about the game. As a let's player, that is. Okay, so, uh... Was it here where we were just now? Yeah. Okay, so the clergyman, next door, so it should be here. Mm-hmm. Let's see, intelligent clerk. Some sort of magician. Flute boy. Head clerk. Attendant. Suspicious looking uh, gentleman. Ah, oh, this one here. Okay, well, let's we'll start with the diligent clerk. This guy is. This guy's having a good old scribble. Is he too busy to talk? 
Excuse. Please don't disturb the clerks while they are working. Okay, fair enough. How about the flute boy? A young high sucked flute boy. Playing from uh, Joachim Ander uh, Andersen's Etudes for uh, Etudes for Flute. Do 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 Bravo. Okay, what about the head clerk? He's engrossed by that document. Can I even talk to him then? Excuse, please don't disturb the clerks while they are working. Oh, it was he who talked earlier. They didn't notice. I thought it was this head clerk. An arrogant looking attendant. Excuse me? What do you want? So, what is this place for starters? This is the chief and uh, chief clerk's office. Allow the town's administrative paperwork is uh, all the town's administrative paperwork is looked after here. Okay. And you are I'm the attendant to the chief clerk. Can you help me find a document? The chief clerk's office is very busy right now. Yeah, I can see that. The clerks have pressing matters to attend to. I'm not asking the clerks, I'm asking you. I'm very busy right now. Yeah, standing and doing nothing. I have pressing matters to attend to. What's pressing matters? At the moment I'm engaging in the task of convincing you to piss off. <laughs> I won't be free to handle further uh, inquiries until you piss off. So piss off. God damn it. Well, there's more. Hmm. What's up with that bearded magician? He's a philo he's a philosopher. His work involves deep concentration and mental calm. I'm trying to figure out how how any of it could possibly matter. See, he's trying to figure out how any of it could possibly matter. It probably doesn't, but it seems important somehow. So I'm double checking my work. Uh, okay. Can I ask the philosopher a question? No. Damn. Well, bye then. Can I even talk to him? Okay, let's not disturb the clerks. Hmm. Don't think I can do anything here with these items. What about this suspicious looking man? He looks like a beggar. This guy is just a, this guy is just casually loitering by the door. Mm. Why won't anyone help me? The chief clerk's office is is extremely busy. Public uh, inquir inquiries are considered low priority and are generally ignored. What if I need help with something important? That's what I'm here for. Time wasters will generally give up give up when told the clerks are too busy to help them. People with genuinely important uh, inquiries will come to me. When that happens, I pose a riddle, and if they can answer the riddle, their inquiry gets dealt with. Ah, oh, is that so? So, who are you then? I'm uh, this and this this and disreputable looking corner loiterer. Well, I can see that. You don't look that disreputable to me. Well, technically I am employed by the chief uh, chief clerk, uh, but not in an of but not in an official capacity. Okay. Why do you ask people to answer a riddle? We priorit we prioritize intelligent in inquiries. The riddle weeds out the imbeciles. Okay, fair enough. So can you help me find a document? I can, but you'll have to answer my riddle first. Okay? Shoot. I would like to answer your riddle now. Okay, here it is. I am the one who gave you life, but not your father and not his wife. My powers are great, but are not godly. I made your head, but not your body. Who am I? I was thinking about God Almighty, but he did say that 
that he's that he's not godlike or doesn't have godlike powers. Jesus? I don't think it's Jesus either. Nobody. Adam and Eve. Definitely not Adam and Eve. My grandparents. Could be. Piero? Joe? Hmm, Joe. Joe as in Joe Richardson, the, the, the developer of this game. Mary? Hieronymus? Peter? Jacob? William? Katerina? Oscar? Okay. My grandparents. Your grandparents is not the correct answer. God damn it. I'm the one who gave you life, but not your father and not his wife. My powers are great but are not godly. I made your head but not your body. Who am I? Or maybe it's Jesus. Jesus is not the correct answer. Yeah, okay. I mean, it cannot be God Almighty, that would be too obvious. And besides, he did say that he's not godly. Not the right answer, okay. Okay, Adam and Eve. I can't see how it could be Adam and Eve. Nobody? Okay, let's try Adam and, Adam and, and Eve. I didn't think so. Does he even offer the right answer straight away? Or we have to figure it out first, outside, somewhere, somewhere, somehow. Joe? Bosch? Van Hemessen? Van... Is it Suck? Suck? Van der Heyden? Shakespeare? T. Cosimo? Bruegel? Rab Rabelais, Richardson, Van Utrecht, Tierlich. I recognize some of these names from the art gallery. Some of the names of the ar artists, painters who made these, well, uh, paintings, paintings these characters and locations are from. Richardson. Joe Richardson. Damn it. He did say that I did not make your body, but but I did make your head. So it cannot be an artist, because an artist would make would paint someone's body, obviously, but not their head or what's inside their head. If you catch my drift, uh, hmm. okay. So we did try my my grandparents, Adam and Eve, nobody, Jesus, and God all God Almighty. And Joe Richardson. Hmm. I we have to go to the art art gallery and try to find a painting that he might be re uh, referring to. Maybe. Hieronymus. I don't know. Okay. I guess there's nothing else here that we can do or items to pick up, so we might as well leave for now. We can't go back here, apparently. Oh, there's a window here. Ah, I see. We can pick up this. Anything else we can take from here? No. Okay, so now we got a loot. Nice, okay. Oh, another window. Oh, wait, we are just back here. Okay. Hmm, what, what if we play the loot for the pretty lady over here? There we go. Hey, you're pretty good, old man.
You have you have you have proved an appealing level of finger dexterity. Oh my. But I find the abstract nature of instrumental music slightly unnerving. You have made me feel confusingly unspecific emotions. That's not how you woo a lady. Okay, so we have to learn a specific song for her. A love song of some kind. Hmm, okay. It's just, he's playing the same song. Fine. So we have to learn a different song in, in order to woo the lady, so to speak. Now... Where could we find a song? Or how about a poem? There is this one a, a poem. A poem guy. Outside. But he wants... But he wants an inspiration. We can't pay him. And we don't even have money to pay with anyway. Hmm, okay. So we have to learn a new song, I would imagine. Well, there's quite a few bards and pianists and whatever in this game, so maybe one of them could help us. And we also could use some money so we can challenge the pie king and then and ask for a, a portrait of, of ours of, uh, of ourselves from that blind portrait painter. So I was thinking that could the answer could the answer to that riddle be in one of these paintings? It's a far fetched idea, but it's an idea regardless. Which one of these paintings could it possibly be? A fancy looking poet, a painting of some strange creatures and a weirdo. Too many people in one boat. Mm, some walls. Coupler. A painting of a man with a strangely familiar body. Oh, that's our uh, protagonist's body. Hieronymus Bosch, the peddler, circa 1500. Although the, although Sir Richardson has seemed to pride in the colors of our clothes, though, which I appreciate. Mm. Painting of a young ladies, young ladies having a good time. And Hieronymus uh, Franken the Younger, parable of the wise and foolish virgins, circa 1616. A painting of lots of gross fish, including a sea, uh, including a seal and a tiny whale. Oh, look at all that fish! <laughs> makes me makes me think about the fish shop in Gibbs the Cthulhu Adventure. Franz Snyder's and John Wilden, fish stall, circa 1618 to 1621. Hmm, it's a very nice painting, still. A bit disturbing, but still. I'm just trying to look at the painting's names here. A somewhat inaccurate uh, mirror. Hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe it's not here. Maybe the, maybe the hint or answer is not in any of these paintings. I mean, he did offer lots of uh, name options of the different artists and, and painters of these paintings. So I was thinking that maybe that maybe the answer is in one of these uh, paintings. And then we just and, and then we just and then we just look at the name of the uh, painter and and say that and say his name. But I'm not sure. Okay, but let's uh, 
I, I, I remember this one violinist inside here. Can we go and talk to him? Talk to her even. Da da di 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 da 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 di 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 da 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 da. No. Can talk to her. Oh, and I just realized that this must be the faces of the high tier Kickstarter packers or something. I mean, this one obviously did stick out like a sore thumb, but it, but the other three were not as obvious. But yeah, I just now noticed. But now, uh, a poet. Hello. So. What inspires you to write your poems? I'm inspired by God's most beautiful creations, especially the pretty ladies. Well, we found one, we found one for you. My finest works are poems, poems about love. Will you write a poem for me? Okay, so same bullshit still. Mm, okay. Can I use the loot on him? Okay, did that do anything? Music is a is a man-made creation. I only draw inspiration from the work of God. Work of God only. Okay. Okay, maybe we don't maybe we don't need to get a poem for the young lady. We just have we just have to learn a new song. Now what about the other part? What about the part over here? This one here, this sinister looking ludist. Do you wanna jam? Sure. What do you wanna play? Do you know the the witches dance? Do you know John Do uh, Downlands? Sh uh, can she excuse my wrongs? Do you know anything by Orlando Di Lasso? Mm, let's go with this. John uh, Dolans, can she excuse my wrongs? Of course. That was nice. You play good for our gutter blip. Thanks. Ah, they used the loot again. Let's try the two others. Might as well. Do you know the witcher's dance? Sure do. Mm, I like this one. Play good for a cutter blip. Uh, one more. Do you know anything by Orlando Di Lasso? How about von Morgens Fruf mit Gotteslob? Sounds German. Perfect. Okay, that was good, but I preferred the other two. 
So let's we learn some new songs now. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see. Can I even can I even select which song to play? No, I'm we're just playing the same thing. Okay. Does it doesn't look like I can skip it. We have to listen to the entire thing. Yeah, yeah, dexterity with fingers. Hmm. I can choose the song which to play. Okay, I guess we didn't learn any new songs from him. Strange musicians. Can't can't talk to them. Can I play with them? I'm a lute purist. I think lutists should only ever jam with other lutists. Well, okay, fair enough. Are there any other lut lutists or musicians around? Oh, did I even try the lute on the pianist here? Yeah, okay, same thing. So we can only so we can jam only with other other lutists. Okay. Is there any other lutist around here, or just any, or just any other musician we could, we could ask for some help? Mm, there was nothing here, right? No. Can we? I don't know. Play to the clouds. I don't want to serenade that. Okay. We can't go to the right, and we can't go further the street there. I mean, this gallery here could be only be, uh, only so that we can look at all the original paintings these locations and characters are from. But I can't help but have this feeling that we have to find the right uh, right painting that it that is all about creating someone's body but not mind or something like that and then and then look at the artist's name. But hmm, a painting of naughty people in circles. Well, let's see who's the artist of this. Hieronymus Bosch. Okay. Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus Bosch. I guess we could try that one. And this one is made also made by Hieronymus Bosch. And a strange beast under a jacked rock. Hmm, okay. Let's go, let's go and try here in the Bosch, I suppose. Okay, let's try, so... I am the one who gave you life, but not your father and not his wife. My powers are great, but are not godly. I made your head, but not your body. Oh, okay, okay. I remembered and that part wrong. I thought it was the other way around. That I made your body, but not your head. Okay, well, anyway. So who am I? Let's try. So... Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus Bosch is not the correct answer. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I mean, we did try... Uh, it must be an artist. Or someone else whose names we have to 
uh, combine. First with the first name and then the family slash second name. I mean, we tried everything else. We, tr we tried God, Jesus, nobody, Adam and Eve, my grandparents, and yeah, we even tried Joe Richardson, and now here in the Miss Bosch. Don't know. Don't know. Hmm? Piero Brugel. Hmm. Okay, no. We have to find the answer from the art gallery. I mean, that's just, that's the only way. That's the only reasonable way that I can think of. So let's hear the riddle again, at least. I am the one who gave you life, but not your father and not his wife. My powers are great, but are not godly. I made your head, but not your body. I wonder what he means by I made your head but not your body. I doubt that he means that I... I doubt, I doubt that he means that... I doubt that he mean, means that he... That the person literally made only your head but not the rest of your body. Unless... Unless he's not talking about a painter. Maybe he's, to, maybe he's talking about a sculpture. Uh, you know, you know, a person who makes sculptures and statues and whatnot. Maybe someone who makes someone, maybe someone who makes, uh, who makes people's busts out of stone or marble or something like that, but doesn't make the rest of the body. I I don't know. It's an idea. Let's see. We have seen some statues here and there, but they are full body statues, like this one, and uh, and the golden one over here. Have we seen have we seen uh, smaller busts anywhere? Not that I can think of. I wonder, can we, uh, can we, uh, trade this fish? No thanks. Okay, never mind. We haven't done anything with the sisal and mallet yet. Hmm. Can we use the sisal and mallet on this statue, for example? These tools are blunt. Okay. I think we are I think we are a little stuck here now folks. And it looks like we and it looks like I cannot uh commit one a uh, one more sin in this episode unfortunately, even though that was my uh, goal. Let's go back here to at the to the doctors. There's a cellist. I don't see any busts here. Hmm. And we have to get rid of this monkey as well. Piss off. Okay, so we can't even touch the monkey. Can we talk to it? Who's a good monkey? Hmm. Give it a fish. I don't think monkeys eat fish. I don't want to serenade him. Empty jug. What are we supposed to fill this with? Pale? Most likely. Hmm. I was thinking about ending this, end this episode here. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Even though we haven't done that much progress, we have only picked up this loot, played some music, jammed with this lootist here, and explored some more and talked to more people, and we got now more things to do. But, but other than that, we haven't really done that much, but... Hey, I'm just gonna end the episode here anyway, and in the next episode, hopefully we can commit one of the sins, or at the very least, make some actual progress in the game. 
So, yeah, until next time. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more four last things.